There are different tools that will be necessary for the conduction of your experiments over the next several days. One of the most important things that you will use is metal forceps. Because these forceps are not sterile and it is a requirement of our experiments that we practice aseptic technique, we need to sterilize them. This can be accomplished by flame sterilizing the forceps using the Bunsen burner. Hold the end of the forceps in such a way that the tip of the forceps is in the top part of the flame. After some time, the forceps will start to get red hot. You want to make sure that not just the tips of the forceps are getting hot, but the upper part of the forceps as well. Even though this portion of the forceps will not be used to transfer the bead, it will be placed in the media and therefore needs to be sterile. Once the forceps have become red hot, they are now considered sterile and can be used to transfer the plastic bead from the old evolution tube to a new evolution tube. We also want to ensure that the bacteria that are evolving in one tube are not transferred into a different evolution tube. Therefore, we need to repeat the sterilization process between replicates. In addition to forceps, you will also be working with a piece of equipment called an inoculating loop. This loop can be used to transfer bacterial colonies from auger plates to another media source. When flaming the inoculating loop, hold the wire part of the loop into the flame until it gets red hot. When placing a bacterial colony into a sterile evolution tube, more than just the loop is going to go inside of the tube, so ensure to run the flame up and down the thicker metal portion of the loop. It is not necessary that this area become red hot.